All right, it's um, like March 6th or 7th or something, but uh, I just found this. First dig here. I'm on the beat up old park here local. Not sure if it's silver or aluminum or what, so we'll clean it up when we get home. All right, it's all tough. All right, we got an Indian. I can't get a date off it yet. My fingers are just damn near numb. It is cold and flurrying, but we're close to home. It's worth it. All right, Let's see what else we can find. All right, this is all tough, and we just usually I don't videotape wheat pennies, but this the 1909s. I am not sure about the back yet. The condition looks pretty good. We're just gonna put that in the pouch, and we're gonna clean that up when we get to the house. I mean, I can see the S under the 09. It is there. All right. Let's see what else we can dig. Today's like the uh, March 12th or something. We just found a neat little uh, metal um, battleship here. See what else we can find. Got the old beat down local park here for me, so. Alright. Just dig us a 35 Buffalo. Alright. See what else we can find. Alright, missile day. Got some trash. We get a, kind of a funky signal here out of here, but we ended up getting. Uh, a wheat penny, not sure what its date is yet. And we got an Indian head right here. So let's get this plate up and uh, see if we can get the dates off of them. Alright, it's not all tough. Alright, about done. Just got us the no date buffalo. Snow's starting to fly, so I'm getting pretty cold here. Alright. On to the next if there is one. Alright, this is the wrap up of the last couple of hunts here. And you see we have no no shortage of garbage as usual. Plenty of nails, some copper, and you know, beaver tabs and bottle caps. You know, we got it all in here, so that's just the way it goes. Got some got some clad here. Couple dollars in clad. Uh, a little battleship here. So like I'm pretty sure that's a Tootsie toy. Really can't make it out. Uh, some junk jewelry here. Um, the 1909 wheat. My eyes are getting bad. It's just a 1909 plane, non VDB. The 1911D semi key wheat penny there in pretty decent shape uh, 1914 1919 uh, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 1894 Indian got the uh, full Liberty on there I mean it's still readable the worn out 1904 Indian there um, uh, and a little tail piece there from uh, Arrowhead I found on the beach there the other day just got one little ear left on there that's the base and I did find this uh, pretty cool old uh, iron pot holder when I was cleaning it up. It was right on uh, the edge of my property line there. I figured, heck, that'd make a nice picture frame or a little, maybe like a little shadow box or I can just get another piece of tile to put in here and I mean, yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep that. So, yep, yeah, a couple pocket change finds there. The 40 and a 44 and a 78 uh, Queen Vicky here, so. Alright, 
it's been all tough hope everybody's enjoyed the video I mean, there's a couple gold hunts a lot of this stuff was coming in pretty deep you know I get discouraged finding uh, new clad dimes at 9 10 inches so and all right until the next time this is all tough thanks for watching